I told you in the last review I had another one of these silhouettes, so let's see what we got today. Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all having a great time out there. I told you guys, it's another silhouette, it's another Air Trainer 1 silhouette, but this time we're going to have a look at the sneaker, we're going to analyse the sneaker, and we're going to look at how unique and different this sneaker is, because this is absolutely perfect. I'm on this Air Trainer 1 wave guys. So welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're having a great Sunday, I hope you're having a great weekend, I hope your weekend was great and I hope you guys are looking after yourself both mentally and physically and you're doing all the great great things to push those barriers, push those boundaries and do the awesome things to improve your life both for your yearly goals and your life goals guys and making sure you all do that in a positive manner and on that note please do check out the Shoe Dog Podcast where me and the bro 808 Kicks ATO go in, talk about sneaker behaviours, talk about sneaker business, talk about all the bad behavior and we take it to sneak a court public opinion and also on that note please do like follow subscribe come and chat to me let's have a conversation let's break it down like we always do let's try and get these sneakers for close to retail as possible or under retail because sneakers are sitting guys i keep saying this go to your local retailer and check out the sneakers because sneakers are sitting guys and make sure you can cop your sneakers for the retail price that they deserve or sometimes tactically work out when they're going to go on sale so you don't need to buy them straight away you can buy from sale price it's awesome because this is the time for the buyers guys the resellers are out this window for the gr sneakers it's time for us buyers to take control but on this review today i told you it's another air trainer one and this time it's hey presto shebang this is the air trainer one al brown So as you can see from the B-roll guys, this is the Air Trainer 1 Ale Brown. That Ale Brown comes through on the sneaker, but we're going to take a look at the sneaker in a bit. Let's go and take a look at the box first. And hey, presto, shebang. This is the regular, regular, regular Nike box. And as you can see, it's got the white Nike swoosh on it, red box all over, Nike Air on this box all over, Nike on this box all over. And also on top of that, the affiliated writing at the bottom, like we always see with the Nike boxes and the Jordan boxes, and also on this as you can see this is what the tag looks like this is what the box logo looks like that's how it should be that's how it should come make sure it's like this guys make sure it comes like that and also it says air twin one limestone valerian blue valerian blue what a name but this is uk 10 us 11 and eu 45 guys that's the box that's how it should look like that's how the label should look like inside this box we get the normal stuff like we saw with the actual um, don't I know you sneaker and uh, this is basically the paper inside it's still got that white tag with the mint mint green on it and also on top of that same thing with the other one it's got 84 red like a green tag green little thing with, with 84 on it and the stamp at the top guys that's what the box looks like that's how it should come that's how it should be make sure your box looks like that but now let's take a look at these sneakers it's sneaker time so hey presto shebang and as you can see this is the air trainer one ale brown and as you can see a lot of brown to this sneaker a lot of blue to this sneaker that valerian blue on the sneaker is popping guys and this is such a unique color blocking for this air trainer one but still to the end because i'm going to actually rock this i'm going to show you on feet on these sneakers because basically i want to show you guys what these look like on feet with uh, different joggers different pants different kind of literally different kind of setups but look at the air trainer one l brown as you can see the l brown is hitting that suede that plush plush suede is actually really plush guys it's got some stroke action to this look at that 
got some stroke action to do this. It's a very, very, very gorgeous sneaker. L Brown hits that lateral side, hits that medial side, hits the overlays to this. Most of the overlays is that L Brown, but you've got this dark chocolate brown that hits that strap panel. And then you've got that Valerian blue with that dark chocolate Nike on the actual strap. Look at that, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Valerian blue. What a color to name a blue. I would have called it royal blue, but this is Valerian blue. The swoosh on this is actually Valerian blue as well. And that tubular midsole is Valerian blue that runs from the lateral to the medial side. But the midsole itself, the predominant midsole is all white, as you can see. The underlay panels is white. The leather is actually kind of stiffish, as you can see. If you had the chlorophylls, if you had the midnight navies, if you had the photons, this is the type of leather you're getting on this. It's a stiffish, stiffish leather, as you can see, a bit stiffish. You've got the actual breathing holes at the front, which are actually protruding on this. And also the tongue as well is the tongue tongue looks like it's the same tongue as the Air Trainer 1 Don't I Know You as you can see guys it's a bit different to the normal regular tongues and the sneaker itself sits on this beautiful 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 white chocolate brown L brown and that Valerian Nike blue that is gorgeous that actually gorgeous the sole looks gummy. The sole looks actually gum sole. I'm actually looking at it through the camera. It actually looks like it's a gum sole. As you can see, more gum sole. I wish this was actually all gum sole. It would actually look so dope on this. This is basically a really nice variation of the A21. Very decent, very good, very like the suede's plush. The only thing that's letting it down is that lever, but this is the OG kind of lever on, on the sneaker. And then on the back of this, you've got that dark Nike Air absolutely gorgeous look at that absolutely gorgeous this is such a full sneaker this is such a full full type of sneaker beautiful beautifully made beautifully constructed it is just i love air trainers i'm i'm in love with air trainers at the moment i'm literally in love with air trainers at the moment such a universal versatile sneaker i always called it the swiss army knife of a sneaker it definitely is a swiss army knife of a sneaker but as you can see the overlay suede is on that toe wrapped around to that your medial side the lateral side strap is that chocolate brown which you discussed and then the eyelids the actual eye pads there that run through this is actually that suede brown as well such a gorgeous simplistic sneaker the insole on this the in inline lining for this is like this cotton inner lining and also on top of this inside as you can see guys that valerian blue hits that insole with that white actually white Nike ear on it as you can see beautiful sneaker beautifully constructed and absolutely gorgeous Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I can't see any um, factory defaults on this. This is actually still perfect. Like that normally with air trainers, you always see factory faults with the actual midsole, but this one's actually pretty decent, except for some like bubbling on the paint there on the midsole. That's all, all I can see on the like right hand side. Left hand side is pretty dope, pretty perfect, pretty good nothing wrong with it i can't see any defects to this sneaker the laces on this is actually just normal rope laces this is a general normal race. this is like a general release it's actually come out on some retailers it's actually more predominantly out air trainers is a funny thing air trainers release everywhere like slowly but surely they like the first couple of releases the midnight navy is actually released in uh, i think south africa then it kind of predominantly went all over europe and then we were able to get it this one I think I picked up on Foot Locker, which is the only place I could actually pick it up at the time. But now it's actually available everywhere else. So if you want it, guys, it's actually there. The retail was like 115, like normal Air 21s are, but it's everywhere. This is probably gonna sit, up, and if you want it, you probably will go on sale, but I like this and I wanted it straight away. What I did notice is on that strap panel underneath it, as you can see, you've got that Valerian blue underneath that on the underlining as well on that strap brown chocolate panel such a great sneaker such a beautiful sneaker such an awesome awesome sneaker i'm gonna give this a four goals out of five definitely just just a bit sorry about the leather it's a bit stiff but it's such a gorgeous sneaker for full time absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful four goats is a good rating for this i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna rock this i'm gonna love rocking this the suede on this is premium the suede on this is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but 
This is the review for the Air Trainer 1 L Brown. Watch out for the actual end for the on feet. There's a general release sneaker. Another good variation for the 35th anniversary for the Air Trainer 1. 1987 is the throwback to the sneaker. What a beautiful sneaker. What a beautiful color blocking. What a beautiful variation. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. What I did notice as well, is that brown l brown stitching underneath that just overlaps that back panel there so on that note like i always do on this channel i'm going to give you that front perspective i'm going to give you that booty action backs perspective look at that chocolate brown nike on the back that lateral side that medial side and that gorgeous sole and i'm going to give that 360 degree rotation make sure it's on your feet make sure you bring the heat and make sure you buy what you need and hey you press the bang bang and bang this is the air trainer one brown l absolutely gorgeous guys beautiful 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 sneaker watch out for the on feet at the end guys and this is one sneaker if you like that full color if you like that l brown if you like it all over this what combination though what combination that valerian blue on that l brown and that actual dark brown panel there it is such a unique color block in it's like pulling color blocks together that actually work could you i couldn't imagine having like a valerian blue with a brown ale with a dark brown put it all together on like a on the panel white sneaker absolutely unique absolutely unique there's something good something unique something like i like the fact that what they're doing with the air max ones we've given it different colors different different variations different color blockings bringing it all together different kind of factors this is not as premium as some of the other sneakers uh, air 21 sneakers but this is like the air max one 35th anniversary air 21 35th anniversary doing something unique doing something different bringing it back to the audience and giving everybody a variation that they all want to pick up and actually rock beautiful colorway beautiful colorway and on that note this was the review for the air trainer one ale brown beautiful colorway if you need it guys go and get it oh if you want it for a cheaper price watch out for it it is definitely gonna go on sale because most of the air trainer ones that have released even the travis got one air trainers are actually still sitting in the small sizes but so all the air trainer ones that actually come out has actually gone on sale so if you want it for the sale price i couldn't wait personally but if you want it for the sale price it's gonna go on sale guys and you'll be able to pick up another beautiful color variation of the air trainer one so like i said this was the review for the air trainer one thank you for tuning in thank you for joining in thank you for always coming back thank you guys for supporting we're bringing more content we're bringing more fun stuff and we're bringing more podcast to you guys so that you can keep yourself entertained and listen in for all the strategies of how to maneuver to get your sneakers but like i say at the end of every video thank you for tuning in thank you for joining in and i hope you have an amazing week amazing month and an amazing year and i hope you guys cop the sneakers you like wait to the end because we're going to do the on feet because you all deserve to get the sneakers you need and on that note for me tj at love kit customs peace out for now guys and peace